So Aiden, why don't you open up your homework folder? Okay. And then we're gonna go to this page right here. Okay. And we'll erase it. And let's walk through it together. So let's go to number two. Okay. Now we have seven plus six. Seven we need to make into ten. Right? So how are we gonna make seven plus what equals ten? Three. So you're gonna write three right there. Now these two numbers go together. Three plus three equals six. Very good. Now, the reason we make ten is because we have seven plus what equals three. We're trying to figure out in our brain what's the easier way to get to make to add these two numbers together. So we're adding seven plus six, but seven plus six is a hard number to add. You have to kind of think about it. So an easier way to think about it is by making ten. So 7 plus 3 equals 10, and then we need to figure out how much is left over, okay? So 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 3 is what? 10 plus 3 is 13, so put 13 right there. Does that make sense? Okay, now another way to look at this is using our blocks, these kind of blocks. So on this next one, Instead of um, doing it this way, we're going to use our base 10 blocks to help us. Okay? So, we have 8, so we're going to get our blocks out and get 8. Is it okay to use objects to help you? Absolutely. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, how many more do we need to add? 8 plus what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, the way that we do this in class is what? What do we? What do we always say? Whenever we're trying to make ten with our adding, we connect them. And which one do we connect? Do we connect the eight or the nine? The nine. The nine. Why? Because that one is closer. It's closer to 10 and it's easier for us to add really quickly. So we take one of these over here from the 8 and put it over here. Is that doing the same thing? So we just did this part right here. 9 plus what equals 10? 9 plus what equals 10? What did we just take over? 1. So put it right here for one second. You'll see why. We're doing it backwards because of the nine. Okay, so nine. Here's our ten. How many do we? What's the rest over here? Seven. Seven. So right here, instead of the two, just cross the two off and make seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not right. Oh yeah, that is right. kind of, we did that backwards, but it still works out. So instead of it being, we aren't doing this one, we did this one. Does that make sense? Okay, and you can still do that. So, what's our answer? Or what's our sum? 10 plus 7 is 17. Okay, now let's do the 6 plus 6. This will be the last one that we do. Okay? 6 plus 6. So what do we need to put with our box? Ooh, look at you using your vocabulary. Two sets of 6. One. Okay. So now what do we need to ask ourselves? What makes 10? Which one's closer to 10? Is 6 or 6 closer to 10? They're both the same. They're both the same. So, we have 6 over here and we have 6 over here. We'll just start with this one because that's what it's telling us to do. 6 plus what equals 10? Four. 
four. So we take these four, we put them over here, and we made this ten. Ten plus the rest equals what? Twelve. So you put twelve here. Okay. And what do we? How many did we bring over? Four. Okay. Now, really quick, can you explain how this makes adding with regrouping easier? And how does making 10 make it easier? With, if we aren't using these, how does that making adding with regrouping easier? Very good. So what you're saying is if we have a bigger number like 25 and then um, we have 16, you're saying with making 10, it's easier to know which one goes in the ones place and which one goes in the box up here. Is that what you're saying? So you're saying like if we had this one, we would have the 6 and we know that it makes 4, right? That would make 10 and we only need one more. So 10 would be, that would equal 11. This then tells you that the one goes in the one's place, and then, got it. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Aiden. You did an awesome job.